And now I've got Porgy. I understand now. I've got Porgy. I'm through with my ways, and his way is my way forever. with the gown, with the thing, and And what happened, a stroke of fate or good luck or what have you, my managers booked me because I'd done the Riviera, but now what, what was I going to do? And so what they did, they booked me up in the Borscht Circuit or the Jewish, the Catskills. And I went up there and came down after three months time of working all the various resorts, the Concord, the um, Gross Singers, um, uh, places called Browns, Raleigh's, I mean just many, 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 many clubs. I came down from the mountains with over 100,000, 150,000 Jewish fans. A following that came right down from wherever and helped, I mean that just made my career, made me absolutely. So it did, it started here and it moved right to the east and, and that was that. So I had I always had a huge Jewish following and therefore when I went to Miami to work there, This would have been the first black performer in a hotel on Miami Beach, which was totally unheard of. Absolutely. And it did, it brought about a lot of stuff. It brought about burning crosses and um, threats. And, um, but Dave Levinson was his name. He said to me that, it, when, that when he was building this club that he would like to open it up for everybody but he wanted black people not only he want he would love to have black people come but they had to come not only to see a black performer they had to come and just see the show so people can get used to seeing them down here in Miami you know sitting next to them and what have you and he knew that it was going to be a big to do and it was but, uh, and so I, I opened that hotel for and, him. And broke the color barrier. And broke the color barrier In Miami there. Beach. Yes, yes. My God. It was, it was something, because I think, and um, um, the newspaper, some newspaper came out, uh, headlines, if, uh, let's see how they put it, this is not gonna be verbatim, but uh, people were, uh, let's see, People were spinning in their graves. So whoever, the, those who died yesterday or the day before, week before, are spinning in their graves because of this black woman on Miami Beach in this hotel and and the show, the the kind of show, and what I did. Show he doesn't have to be especially handsome. To understand why I cry, it's cause I'm such a low. My show, this Lorelei, uh, 
would sing, I would vamp people, and then I would go into the audience and I'd sit on the lap of a person and sort of bite them on the ear or bite them on the neck or the cheek or, you know, not a hard bite, but a little nip. And um, my managers, everybody said, no, you, there are certain things that you're not going to be able to do. There are songs that you really, really shouldn't, that you have to interact with people that you really shouldn't do here in Miami. But I decided I'm going to do my show. I had already been threatened. I had already been burned in effigy or whatever it is, and what are they going to do? And we'd already said, whatever you're going to do, you know, hey, do it. And um, anyway, so I did this. Well, I want you to know, it did cause an uproar, but the second show, when I went out to do the second show, let me, oh, let me explain that to you. The first show, I mean, you know, the women, women were sitting on the ringside and the men were sitting inside or interspersed or whatever it is. When I walked out, when I looked through the curtains to see the audience for the second show, I couldn't see any women. And I was wondering, where in the world are the women? And there were all the rednecks and everybody sitting on the aisles hoping to be the one that was going to be bitten or whatever the case. So it broke, it, it sort of broke it down. Down. And so the newspapers alluded to that because they said people, those who were just so dead against it, and here's this woman who came and just blew it all away. <laughs> you knocked my mic off, George. <laughs> <This is> fabulous. <laughs> so it was fun. Scary, but it was fun. Absolutely. heard that since maybe right after it was recorded.